Hello! Welcome to Trish Polish. I'm Trish, and my goal is to swatch as much of the nail polish in Japan as I possibly can. If that sounds like something you'd also be interested in, please consider subscribing. If not, that's okay too. It's still nice to see you. Okay, so y'all know I can't stay away from the dollar store here. Like, this wasn't even the video that I'd planned to put out this week, but y'all just need to see these. Like, mwah, wonderful polishes. <laughs> Today we are going to look at five neon jelly polishes from the brand Somchu. These polishes were so bright that my camera, like, kind of struggled to capture the color accurateness of them, but uh, you'll just have to see it to believe it. After the swatches, I'll give you a little more information about the brand, such as pricing and availability, socials, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But I've talked enough, so uh, let's just get into the swatches. Before we get started today, it is worth noting that these polishes also don't have names, they just kind of have code names, like a uh, secret agent. First up today is this lovely orange STNPN02. In the bottle, this color is so, so, so bright. It kind of reminds me of vegetable juice. First thing I noticed about this polish is that it does have a wide rounded brush, so application is a freaking dream. It is so nice. And I gotta tell you, I was not expecting this smooth of an application. Y'all, look at this. It's literally just gliding onto my nail like jelly on toast. <laughs> no surprises here on this first coat. It is super sheer, super glossy, super squishy, and legit looks like vegetable juice. I was debating whether or not to leave this one at two coats or go in for a third and ultimately I decided to do three because I wanted to see if I could make the color stand out a little more. And also with jelly polishes, like the more layers you put on, the squishier it looks and uh, I'm just really into that right now for some reason. Also gotta say, first impression of this brand is like really, really good. I don't know why I keep saying I'm surprised that Daiso nail polishes are good because I mean, all of the ones we've looked at so far have all been pretty good, like, Daiso Japan is dead serious with their nail polishes all for real. I feel like the decision to go for three coats was the correct one because it really, really brought out the squishy factor. This is a true jelly polish, so I don't believe you'll be able to cover up your visible nail line no matter how many coats you put on, but three coats was a good stopping point for me. How freaking cute would this be as a jelly jack-o'-lantern for Halloween? In the first swatch photo, you will see three coats of STNPN02, and in the second and third swatch photos, you will see the shade over white and as a jelly sandwich. Next up, we have the shade STNPN01. Oops, I just realized these were supposed to be in numerical order, but uh, that's okay. So my camera kind of didn't know what to do with the color on this one because it is literally highlighter yellow. And listen, yellows are notoriously known for being difficult to get right, but y'all, look at this. Look how smooth it is. This polish was $2. It's not streaky or patchy at all. I can't, I can't, I can't get over it. I mean, it did cover in the first coat, so you don't really need to do two or three unless you're just really looking for that squishiness, which I am, so I will. In the second coat, it got a lot more squishy but it's not quite squishy enough, so on all of these polishes I am going to go for three coats because I am looking for the ultimate squish factor. Did anyone else used to color their fingernails with highlighters back in the day? You know, during class when you were supposed to be paying attention? Uh, just me? Anyway, this color looks exactly, literally exactly like a yellow highlighter. And again, here I think three coats is the perfect amount of squish. I don't usually reach for bright yellow when I do my own nails, but y'all, this color is really calling to me. It is screaming, summer is here, put me on your hands. Application was wonderful, this polish is wonderful, I am about to go out and buy like all of the colors in this brand that I can find because I think I need to try them, like all of them. In the first swatch photo, you will see three coats of STNPN01. And in the second and third swatch photos, you will see it over white and in a jelly sandwich. Next up, we have STNPN03. This one is not a pink, it's not an orange, it's like somewhere in between, like if pink and orange had a child, this is that color. I'm totally drawing a blank on how to describe this color, but it's the shade that I always put on my toes in the summer. Which is not a helpful descriptor to anyone but me. <laughs> Ah, highlighter pink. There we go. That's what color this is. This color is making me crave pink grapefruits like y'all wouldn't believe. It looks like a grapefruit. Yeah, no, it's fruity? No? I don't know. It, it's, it's pink and looks citrusy. Or maybe watermelony? 
Again, coverage in the first coat was sheer, but that's okay because we already know we're going in for three anyway. The squish factor really starts to pop out in the second coat, but like I said, we're going for the ultimate squishy polish, so uh, yeah, three coats. I also feel like the color starts to really pop more once you put on more than one coat of this. Oh, and it is worth noting that all of these polishes do dry down to that kind of plasticky matte finish, so a glossy top coat is definitely recommended. This one has the same super smooth, easy to apply formula as the previous two polishes, and it went on like a dream. This one also made my camera freak out. <laughs> so it's kind of struggling to accurately portray the color, but it looks like a highlighter. And summer, and it is so squishy. So is it just me, or is this color like almost painful to look at head on because it is so bright? Like, it makes my eyes do this weird little twinge thing. Does anybody, anybody else? I mean, I'm still gonna put it on my toes, and probably my hands, actually. In the first swatch photo, you will see three coats of STNPN03, and in the second and third swatch photos, you will see the color over white and used in a jelly sandwich. Next up, we have STNPN04. So, this shade to me looks more like a traditional, like, hot pink color. What do y'all think? It has some serious Lisa Frank vibes, and let me tell you, I am here for it. Y'all know what I mean, right? Like, did anyone else have a Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper back in the day? I think you probably really could just do this one in one coat. Like, it's pretty colorful. But you know we're not gonna stop here. You know we're gonna go to three because Squishy Quest. I gotta say, the brush in these polishes is the literal star of the show. Like, it helps spread this polish out so smooth, so buttery, so jelly. Ugh, so good. Can you say buttery to describe a jelly? Anyway. You can see here in the second coat, we're really starting to get that dimension built up, so it looks more squishy. I did wear a base coat underneath all of these polishes because I'm pretty sure they'd probably stain your fingers if you didn't. Because there is a lot of pigment in these. And again, I feel like this third coat just really brought this polish to life. Like, it is so... it just looks like candy. Or, you know, like my Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper. Either way. Leave a comment down below if you were a Lisa Frank kid. So honestly, up until this point, I wasn't really a neon polish person unless it went on my toes, but this year I am fully on board the neon party train and I am loving it. Again, with this one in the first swatch photo, you will see three coats of STNPN04, and in the second and third, you will see the color over white and in a jelly sandwich. Last up for today, we have the shade STNPN06 which means I missed 05 and uh, I need to find it. In the bottle, this one is an electric blue. It is so bright. But here on the first coat, I found that it was just a little muted. Like, I'm, I'm thinking this is still a neon, but it looks a little more muted than the other colors. And I gotta say, this one did apply just a little bit more, like, patchy than the previous colors did. Maybe because it's so pigmented, I don't know, maybe because it's darker it stands out more, but it does go on a little bit more streaky. I think I was able to get rid of it by the third coat, but definitely here in the first coat and a little bit in the second coat it was noticeable, so sorry about that. The polish does still have that same really smooth application, but for some reason the pigment sits different in this one. But it does appear to be evening out here in this third coat, so out of all of the polishes we've swatched today, this one is the most in need of the third coat, if that makes sense. What do you think? Is this one a neon or is it just like a really, really pigmented blue? Also, what do you think number five was? Do you think it was a green? Do you think I should find it? I think I should find it. The more I look at this color, the more I like it on its own. I think it's really beautiful as just a standalone jelly polish. To be honest, it didn't go great over white, and it doesn't look great as a jelly sandwich. Like, it's just too streaky on those first two coats. It just didn't really work well, but that could have just been my application. I don't know. Yeah. But I think this one looks best on its own in three coats as a jelly polish. In the first swatch photo, you will see three coats of STNPN06. And in the second and third photo, you will see the color over white and in a jelly sandwich. So what do you think? Were you as blown away as I was? I mean, I know I sound like a broken record, but all these polishes were two bucks. Two bucks. Ha! Out of curiosity, which one would you wear? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Like, are you drawn to neons or are you nah on the neons? What do you think? 
The eagle-eyed amongst you will have already spotted my favorite out of the group today because it is currently on my hands. <laughs> That's right, it's the yellow one, the highlighter. I love it. It is so, so, so sunshiny and summery and fun and maybe a little bit nostalgic because it really does remind me of painting my fingernails with highlighters in Miss Brashear's class in fifth grade. <laughs> Today I'm wearing it in three coats with Solar Unicorn on top because I put Solar Unicorn on everything, as should you, because it's magical. And it uh, prompted an impromptu photo sesh in the sun because who doesn't want to see this sparkle? Yeah? Sparkle? Sparkle? Pretty. Anyway, overall, I'm just flat out impressed with this brand from what we've seen today. Like the coverage, the pigment, the application, the brush, everything was just it was just like top tier and it was two dollars like i'm sorry i know i've said that a million times it was two dollars so in summary i guess what i'm trying to say is y'all will definitely see this brand again because i'm curious as to how the creme polishes apply because reasons <laughs> a little more information about the brand they do come in eight milliliter bottles so they are a little on the bigger side they are available at daiso stores nationwide in japan and they retail for 220 yen including tax and y'all i googled the currency exchange rate today and um 220 yen is about a buck 70 in us dollars so i don't know what's happened to the exchange rate but now is the time to buy stuff from japan if you're american also the price sticker is obnoxiously placed on the cap of the polish and it was a pain in the neck to remove so in the swatch photos you probably saw that sticker that said 200 yen that's because i couldn't get it off but i finally i finally succeeded in removing the price sticker from the cap but it's left that sticky thing that stickers tend to do because stickers. stickers. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to get that off. I found a few blogs in Japanese that review the polish and everybody seems to be giving it glowing reviews, but I couldn't find a brand webpage. I don't know if that means that a brand webpage does not exist or maybe my just my detective skills weren't up to par, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I will link their Instagram page as well as the few blogs that I did find in the description box. It looks like their Instagram is doubling as a webpage, like it's informative, it tells you what colors they have, all of the information you need to know is basically on their Instagram page. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I'll put everything in the description box if you want to check more out about the brand. And yeah, you'll see them again from me too. So uh, look forward to that. So that's going to be all from me today. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you'd like to hang out and talk some more about Japanese nail polish, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a good week.